Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to see what is common table expression in PostgreSQL Server. Okay. So as usual, the agenda would be understanding CTE, commonly known as CTE for common table expressions, and then a practical demo. What is common table table expression? A common table expression is a temporary result set which you can reference within another SQL statement, including select, insert, update, or delete. Okay. So it's nothing but a temporary result set. Many times, you know, when you are working on a larger projects, then the many times it's a requirement that you want to store a temporary result somewhere and then you can consume that temporary result set as and when required. Okay. So for example, if you're writing a very complex queries, then you want to store that complex queries and then a result of those complex queries, you need to join again back to uh, different queries or to the main query. So in that case, you can use CTE to store this uh, temporary result set and then you can con consume that CTE in another statement as select, insert, update or delete. There are two types of CTEs, a normal CTE and a recursive CTE. Okay. What are the advantages of CTE? So basically it improves readability of the complex queries as I told you, I know you, if you want to store a result set somewhere, a complex query result set, you can do that so that you know, it, you don't have to include that complex query into the main query. Okay. And then you can have a, a recursive city as well. What are recursive cities? It's nothing but, you know, city is referencing again back to the city. Okay. Uh, the common scenario where, you know, you can use this recursive city is that uh, to find the hierarchy of uh, any data. So, so for example, if you have an employee table where each is employee is associated with its manager, right? So if you want to find this hierarchy from CEO to until the employee, all the levels in between, you can use this recursive city. Okay. Now, as everything has an advantage, right, it has, uh, you know, uh, it has the disadvantages also. Uh, basically, uh, it is considered that cities are not good for the huge data. So, whenever if you are processing a very large complex query, where, you know, a lot of data is being processed, then, uh, you know, I don't think city is the good choice. Uh, rather, you need to go with the temporary table. Uh, okay, uh, because it might create a performance issues. And secondly, uh, you need to consume the city immediately after its declaration. Okay, and creation. So it's not like a temporary table where you can create a temporary table and then, you know, whenever required, you can use it. No. As soon as you declare a, a city or create a city, you will have to use that immediately in the next select, insert, update or delete step. Okay, so these are some advantages and disadvantages of CTE. So yeah, as usual, let action this. Uh, I have the environment ready. First of all, let me tell you uh, the structure of the CTE. So whenever you want to create a CTE, you will have to use this with clause. Okay, then a CTE name and then a as clause. And then between these two uh, opening and closing bracket, you need to actually specify this query it may be a simple query it may be a complex query whatever it may be and then you can consume this city with the immediately with the next select statement insert or update or delete statement so you can see here i have created a city district and then i'm consuming that here as a table okay right so and within this brackets you can write any complex query so results of this query actually are stored uh, you know in a memory as part of a city as a table, right? And then you can use that city directly. You can join that city with another tables. Okay, so this is the basic structure of a, a city. Uh, here, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm initially finding the district, you know, uh, from my address table, I'm finding the count of each district. So let me execute this. And you can see here for each district, there is a count. Almost everyone has a one count, but you can see Tokyo 2, Tokyo 2 is 2, then uh, there are uh, Hubi is 5 and so on. Okay. And then I'm joining the city with my other main query. So let us execute this query here. And now you can see with another data, right? With the first name, address and district, I am also getting the district count. So you can see here for Buenos Aires, there were 10. Okay. So for each record is actually repeated because we are getting the district count and then joining that table uh, district with on the close on the basis of district column uh, with the address table uh, and hence we are getting the 
uh, here the values are getting repeated okay but this way you can use CTC here I have, I have given very simple example right? but actually this can be a very complex uh, query and then you can use that query in your select insert update or delete statement okay so this was a very normal city here you know city is not referencing to itself I will show you the recursive city also uh, then as I told you that you know you need to actually consume the city immediately so in in below example okay uh, the example is you know let me show you one example here so now here I am uh, the same city but instead of consuming the city immediately okay I am actually writing one statement hello okay and then I am actually trying to consume this city after that select hello. So if whenever I execute this, whenever I try to execute this statement, you can see here it will give him an error that relation city district does not exist. Okay. And this is where I, I told you this one of the disadvantages that you know you need to actually consume the city immediately. You can have you cannot have any another select insert update or for that matter any statement or any uh, task in between. So whenever you execute this, it will it will tell that city does not exist. Okay. And as soon as I remove this, and if I now try to execute this, again we will get the results back. Okay. So this this was one of the main disadvantage. Okay. Now what is the recursive city? Uh, let me first create a table and then I will show you how to write a recursive city. Okay, let me insert the records and then select star. Okay, now here you can see I have, uh, you know, like six to seven records. So, John, he doesn't have any manager. Mark and Muller, you can see his manager is one. So, basically, Mark and Muller are reporting to John. Rakesh is reporting to Mark. Kirit is reporting again to Mark. Hitesh is reporting to Muller. And Nikhil is reporting to Hitesh. So this is this is a hierarchy. Okay. So how do you write a recursive city? Right. So here you just specified which city district as whenever you want to write a recursive city, you again specify with and then you need to specify recursive and then a city e the name of the city, but you need to include the recursive clause. And then uh, rest of the re uh, rest of the thing remains the same that as clause. And then between these two brackets, you need to write a statement. Now here, what we have done is that we, uh, if you can see here, we have two select statement. One is this is this is the main statement where we have said that manage. You know, we want to find uh, the records where manager ID is equal to zero. So first record will be selected from this, right? This would be stored in, into as a city, and then again. I am joining this employee table as a master table and you can see here this is very important I am joining the city back you know join city recursive now my name of the city is city recursive right so I am joining again city recursive okay so what is happening the record of this is actually stored into the city in a temporary table it might be creating internally temporary table or internal memory okay so this is stored in this then we are again referencing back here in the same query, in the same recursive, in the same block itself. We are again referencing, referencing this city recursive. And then we are saying that, okay, my, my manager uh, ID is equal to employee. So actually, we, basically, we are only cross referencing uh, the manager ID with the employee ID. And this way, we can get uh, the name of the each manager. And then I'm storing the name of the manager. Okay. So when I execute this query, if you can see, let us execute this. And now you can see we are getting here that one John, no manager. So you can specify anything I have specified here that he doesn't have any manager. He may be CEO of the company, right? Then as we saw that John, Mark and Muller are actually reporting to John. Rakesh, is, Rakesh and Kirit are reporting to Mark. Hitesh is reporting to Muller and Nikhil is reporting to Hitesh. So this way you can find out Basically, here you know we have shown only one level, but you can actually find a full. You can create a full path or the full hierarchy. Okay, so this is a, a way you can write a recursive city. Again, let us just uh, you know because normal city is very important. Let us and try to understand the recursive city once again. So whenever you want to write a recursive city, right? With 
after with clause you need to specify recursive then a city name then as clause and then between the statement you will have to write this uh, select statement with a union or union all clause it depends upon the business requirement okay here this is our first record okay and then with the help of this record we are actually recursing so first record we are finding with john as manager id is equal to 0 and then we are joining our manager id is equal to employee id okay and we are referencing this city recursive uh, back to whatever city we were having okay so this was the recursive city and this was related to the common table expressions uh, in postgres sql server right these are very very helpful for the smaller set of data right uh, so please uh, do you know as usual i would say please do as much as exercise you can and practice more and more to uh, you know learn more concepts about the cities or to to have an expertise on uh, city uh, because every now and then you might have to use this city okay hope you have enjoyed this uh, video guys if you have then don't forget to press a like button and uh, also please subscribe to my channel so that uh, whenever i you know upload videos uh, you know you will keep getting the notification of that okay so that's it for today guys and uh, see you in the next topic uh, next time till then bye and take care